Elephants Disappear by Lily Williams. This is the Congo Basin Forest. It's a complex ecosystem filled with many different types of landscapes, plants, and animals. The animals that live here are strong, slippery, loud, and big. Elephants' first ancestors arose in Africa about 60 million years ago and eventually split into three playful species that we know today. The African forest elephant, African savanna elephant, and Asian elephant. The African forest elephant is smaller of the African species, growing to about 10 feet tall and weighing over 11,000 pounds. Still, it's one of the largest land mammals on earth. Elephants are a keystone species, which means that their actions from walking, to eating, to pooping, to sleeping, shape their environment. Without any keystone species, the ecosystem they live in, such as African tropical forests, would change drastically. In order to feed their big bodies, elephants will walk for miles and miles each day consuming several hundred pounds of fruits, branches, bark, roots, grasses, and leaves. All that eating and walking around spreads their poop far and wide. Because elephants have inefficient digestive systems, their poop, called dung, is full of thousands of undigested seeds that increase the forest plant biodiversity by moving the seeds from one place to another. Today, elephants are hunted for their ivory tusks, which are displayed whole or carved into trinkets. Poachers are killing elephants faster than the elephants can reproduce. Roughly 62% of African forest elephants were lost in between 2001 and 2018. If elephants disappeared, so would their dung which is filled with thousands of seeds from the many different plants that the elephants eat. When elephants eat plants with seeds, the seeds soften and sprout from the acid in their digestive systems. When those seeds are passed, the nutrient-rich dung surrounding them, the nutrient-rich dung surrounding them fertilizes and protects them, so they grow faster than the seeds planted in the ground. Some plants have evolved to make elephant dung the only way their seeds can be spread. If elephant dung disappeared, the biodiversity of the plants in Africa's tropical forests would decline. African forest elephants spread the seeds of over 40 species of plants in their dung. Without elephants spreading germinized seeds throughout the forest, fewer plant species would grow. This would upset the ecosystem's balance and reduce the varieties of plants for other animals to eat and use for shelter. If plant biodiversity disappeared, 
the large trees would take over the forest. Though large trees can reduce harmful greenhouse gases in the atmosphere by collecting carbon in the air and storing it, they also depend on fast-growing smaller plants to create biodiversity in the forest. Larger trees would dominate the forest, crowding out space for themselves and other species. The change in plant life would affect the forest soil causing erosion, floods, and even differences in the amount of rainfall the area gets. If too many plant species disappeared, the forest might not be able to survive. Forests are complex ecosystems that rely on many different plants and animals to stay healthy. Without diverse plant life to provide multiple kinds of food and shelter, the animal that once survived in the forest would starve and die out. This loss of plant and animal life could drastically alter the forest landscape, affecting everything from the soil, to the water, to the air. This chain effect called trophic cascade would spread across the different ecosystems eventually changing. The world as we know it. From dung, to plants, to animals, to people, all life on earth is intricately connected and balanced and each organism plays a part in helping the world to thrive. And luckily today, elephants still roam free. To help, we can use our voices to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. And maybe then everyone will see that even the biggest of us needs a little help now and again. The end.